Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Dark Souls Weapon Lock Challenge Run, the live stream series where we ban a weapon class after every boss battle. And if you want to watch these challenge runs on your own time, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and boop that bell button to stay notified. <laughs> now in the last episode, we defeated Great Lord Nito and Gwendolyn, and now we're... I'm intending to make my way to the DLC this stream because we have, I think, well over a, about a month until Elden Ring releases. So that does give me time to explore the DLC, which is something I've not done before. So this will be a lot of fun. But before we do that, oh, also, hello, Copper Nicholson. Thanks for dropping by. How's it going? Okay, got uh, done. You got a ton of. No, that's good. That's good. Then when you got home. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that your computer glitched out. That's no fun, Copper Nicholson. Well, sometimes stuff like that happens, but I'm glad to hear you made good progress on your driver's ed course. Well, hello again. You need it. Now, one thing I do want to do before we go to Ulusil is get ourselves a bit more Titanite chunks because we need to get our... Where is it? Well, we need to get the composite bow up to plus 15 or, or close to it. So, before we get to the DLC tonight, chat, we're actually going to make our way hey, back to the new Londo runes and uh, go grind for some Titanite chunks. Uh, good question, Copper Nicholson. So, right now, doing pretty well. I'm going to be making my way down to the new launder runes to try and get some more titanite chunks for the composite bow and then we'll be making our way to uh the dlc which will be interesting because i have not played the dlc before so we'll be curious to see uh, how it turns out I will also mention it seems we can finally um, fast roll without having to use the Havel's ring, so that's a that's a big plus. Now the stream seems to still be running on my end, Topper Nicholson. I'm sorry to hear that you're having some technical difficulties tonight, but I, I hope those um, I hope those get resolved. And down we go. Hello, Brad Gore. Thanks for dropping by. How's it going? What's up? I heard that Copper Nicholson's making some good progress on his driver's ed course, which is good. Uh, where are you up to, Gretkorp? Let's see. I mean, as for what I'm doing tonight, Gretkorp, I'll be making my way to the New Londa Runes to get some Titanite chunks for our... Um, what are they called? For the composite bow, then we'll be making our way to the DLC. So yeah, DLC is going to be just a smidge layer because I do want to get some Titanite chunks for the bow. But then we will absolutely be enjoying this. Yo, KK Sparks, thanks for dropping by. How you been? Work down to hit sports. Sounds good. Sounds good. It's actually fairly easy thanks to staff crunch. Cool. Glad to hear that's going well, KK Sparks. I remember really enjoying statistics back in high school. I took an AP statistics course and learned a lot of practical things from it for sure. Ah. You're, you're concerned about something, Greco? Ow. That damage, though. Hey, there's one. Uh, if you need help with enemies weaknesses, just remember magic is useless unless it's the dark kind of magic You'll find it will sell salt and it's all set. Okay, good to know. I, I would not be aware of that Brett I guess that means we'll be making much heavier use of the composite bow, which is all the more reason to <laughs> To get that uh, to get these titanite chunks That was the thing that gives us the ability to help with figuring out what stats to use. Cool. 
Yeah, I just think you have to do like Z tests and T tests and all that stuff, uh, Tay Tay Sparts as well. Because I remember that was some of the stuff I learned in AP statistics. And also the importance of sample sizes, a lot of large numbers. Oh dear. Well then! <laughs> I am impressed with that guy's reach. I will say that. <laughs> Indeed, Dark Souls hit Foxes at their- that, uh, yeah, that was my fault. I wasn't blocking, and... So, that death was most certainly deserved on my... <laughs> on my end. But even so, it's... It was a little jarring. Ah, measure of variation. Cool. I, that's interesting, too. It's amazing just the kind of details you can get from, from statistics just by taking multiple iterations of things. Like, for example, measuring variation. That That's some useful information that you might not be able to just glean from just glancing at data without really trying to process it a bit. Same thing with standard deviations. There's a ton you can learn from just knowing how many standard deviations there are based on your data set from the, I guess, from the, from the nominal value. That's like, you know, your confidence intervals, like, the 95% and 98% confidence intervals is all really useful stuff. Well, Copper Nettles, if you got IRL stuff to take care of, that should always take priority. Dark Souls, at the end of the day, is a video game. It's just meant for, for leisure and for fun. But if you ask more important stuff to take care of in real life, that obviously should take priority. I kind of agree with Drakkor, because it is, I guess, quite early uh, to be switching to, to other games, in my view, considering that I don't think you've gotten particularly far in Dark Souls, but again, to each their own. Alright, there's our souls. Jump at them. But at the end of the day, IRL stuff should, should absolutely come first. Block. Copper Nicholson, I've seen Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. It's a fun game. That's not the point, though. <laughs> it's a very meme -y game, for sure. I mean, it, it has such... It's, it spawns such lines as memes of the DNA of the soul. And the memes, Jack. And, of course... Who can forget Nano Machine, son? That's, a, that's such a classic line. <laughs> No chunks for us. No. Give us chunks. Oh, what's that? Nano machine, son. Hello, Ian Fluta. Thanks for dropping by. How you been, man? All right, you're coming from playing Sekiro and that big old snake is stressful to sneak around. Only made one attempt before. Uh, I see. Yeah, I, I know what I know what sequence you're talking about. Admittedly, I've never actually played Sekiro, but I've watched some playthroughs of it. I know the snake is, can be quite stressful, especially for the first time. Though it's interesting that there's a couple of different ways to defeat it. Come on. 
I know I didn't. I, I know this 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 section is possible. There we go. Just bait the attack. Out of here. Probably should have just done the try and true strategy of, of being the turtle, but oh well. Uh, that's, I guess that's debatable, Drekor, so... I'd say Sekiro is a different kind of, of challenge. It's certainly a Souls-like game. I mean, it's made obviously similar versus Dark Souls. I think that the main difference between Sekiro and Dark Souls is that Sekiro, it focuses a lot more on parrying. Whereas, um, and, and like stamp and like uh, guard breaking, whereas Dark Souls, not so much. I was about to adopt some. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Carl's play in our wilds. That's cool. You mean like Carl Sagan 42 or a different Carl? Well, but at the same time, once you um, get used to the pairing system in Sekiro, I hear it, it, it becomes a lot more fun. Yeah, it's basically Sekiro like forces you to unlearn the earn. Uh, well, it's not that dodging, parrying, or jumping is useless in Sekiro. It's just more so the game definitely more favors the parrying, aggressive uh, style. Basically, a very particular style of play. And if you're able to adapt to that style of play, Sekiro can be a, an insane amount of fun. But if you're not, then you can be in for a pretty rough time. I think that where that that's where that disconnect can come from a lot. Oh yeah, that's true. But then again, you have to. <laughs> Why well, think Carl Sagan forty two branching into games that aren't Mar Mario? I always think of Bob as you. But if he's playing Outer Wilds, I mean that that's interesting. All power to all power to Carl. And focus is is more on technique than stamina. Yeah, that's the other thing. So. Tetro doesn't really have like much variety and I mean much variety at all in terms of like weapons and things like that. It's it's all about its particular action-y combat system. So it's not really an action RPG insofar as it's more just an action game. Whereas Dark Souls is very much an RP an RPG. Yeah, so I guess that's probably why I like a game more like Dark Souls, just because there's so many different options to play it. Not that's, I mean, Sekiro certainly has its fun, I'm just saying. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. <laughs> Stealth really doesn't matter that much in Dark Souls, but in Sekiro, you can do it to matter a great deal. Yep, very true record. Yeah. Oh. Before we proceed, read a message just tell <laughs> Aura is a cruel parent, but effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. This world and its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We are all pawns of something even greater. Memes. The DNA of the soul. Expose someone to Dark Souls long enough, they will learn to get good. Envy. Greed. Despair. All memes. You can't fight nature, Reen. Wind blows, rain falls the strong prey upon the weak. I play among us and watch family die. Shadow the Hedgehog is my idol. Fortnite Battle Royale. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me would never say stuff like that, Copper Nicholson. <laughs> you did defeat Neo using stuff. Yeah, but that was that's like an exception to the rule. It's not exactly a common thing. <laughs> and you need a particular items to make it work. Record certainly doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with Trapcore. I feel like I lost half my HP just listening to that. I'm sure you have no regrets. Now, speaking of Toa Chat, I don't know why. But I mean, I do know why. So I'm. I'm excited to play Elden Ring, but I'm just going to mention there is a part of me. Like, there is a deep part of me that's like, man, I really want to play the second It Trails a Cold Seal game. That story left on such a cliffhanger, and I love all those characters. And gosh darn it, we, we need to see how it continues. Not to mention the fact that it was also a really fun challenge run. Just all the, all the, all the crazy tactics I had to call with the different orbments were so much fun. <laughs> 
But, but that's just uh, an aside. I was thinking. <laughs> I'm not sure if, if any of you kind of feel that as well. I was just thinking. Our, our way, and that's why the streams would be just cutscenes. Your problem with Cold Steel is that, yeah. This is true. But even so, like, I feel like. I feel like Trails of Cold Steel is one of those games that is sincerely underrated. Yeah, exactly, Redcore. So, it, I mean, obviously, Elden Reign's an ass, but I'm saying, like, Trails of Cold Steel is definitely an excellent game series that I feel is underrated compared to some of other of its other peers. Certainly, the cutscenes are probably a big portion as to why that might be. But I think any little thing that can be done to get the word out that this, you know, it exists and it's worth playing is... I think also worthwhile. Yeah, probably record. I also heard that... I'm not sure if this is true. But I heard that Trails of Cold Steel 2 is shorter than the original game. Not... Probably not by, like, a large margin. It's probably still be a long game, all things considered. But I'm just saying, like... Trails of Cold Steel 1 went on for a pretty long time. Like, I looked at my playtime for that. That that play that first playthrough took over 120 hours. <laughs> now, granted, I was doing a challenge run. We died a bunch, and shenanigans happened. Still a pretty long game. Oh, yeah, for sure, Drekker, for sure. No. No Amundas, Chopper Nicholson, no. There's no challenge run for Amundas, silly. And even if there was, it still wouldn't it'd still be like a one-off thing, which is not is is usually not something I'm interested in. It'll be hard for Toe to pet. <laughs> Are you trying to say something? Are you trying to say something, Copper Nicholson? Strong enough to vent. I mean, the sus on oh, no. the power of the sus. Okay, well, we got our souls back. How many chunks do we have? Three. Alright, that's nice. Go, oh, will be sus. Being the Souls veteran you are, you're probably not going to have too much trouble getting used to the combat system. And since you'll be using ranged weapons, which you're already good at, I think you'll not die as often as we dinner would, uh, which is why I believe it won't be a lot. Well, you have to understand, uh, Brett Gord, just because I'm experienced with Dark Souls and could probably adapt to it faster than a newer player doesn't mean I won't die a lot. I mean, obviously, the, my bowling challenge runs... Since I didn't like Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 were done before, you know, before I was a streamer. But suffice it to say, the amount of times I died in those challenge runs might have seemed excessive. <laughs> Especially with, uh, I remember the Twin Princes in Dark Souls 3. I, I probably died at least like 60 or 70 times before I, I finally got that fight down. <laughs> yeah. We have to call Steel 2 right afterwards. I mean, I I might, honestly, Gretor. I might. <laughs> Alpha <Alvin> Arms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right, Reen. I'm going to use nano machines to make you go to the ball with me. And Reen's like, oh, please, no. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think whether we go to Cold Steel 2 after uh, Elden Ring will be dependent on a couple of factors. One is how strong is my desire her to, to follow up with that. And two is where the community is at in terms of uh, interest. Like if some, if some other game or, or point of interest this comes up that just overwhelms Cold Steel 2's challenge run, then that might take priority. But I don't want that to, to just languish in uncertainty forever. Because my... Cause I'm just imagining like... Like the, the handful of people who have started watching the Cold Steel um, challenge run have like discovered me because of that. And I know there aren't that many of you 
who at the moment, but that's okay. I'm just saying, for any of you who who have started watching me because of the Cold Steel playthrough, I would hate to just leave you guys on that cliffhanger for years and years and years because, because it's like I, I, because I mean, it would remind me of when. Nito B played, finished playing the great Ace Attorney, and there was a bit of a, great, a cliffhanger at the end of that. We had to wait multiple years before he got around to playing the second one, and that was. It was worth the wait, but my goodness. <laughs> I, I know it's just a suggestion, Graph Gore, but. But I'm talking about how I kind of see things here. It's like, I'm just trying to imagine the thought process of people who, like, get really invested with my portrayal of the Trails of Cold Steel characters. <laughs> First and the silly shenanigans the class seven gets on gets into and then all of a sudden the series just ends on a cliffhanger and we're waiting for a, a follow-up. So like I can only imagine what it must have been for people who played the game originally when it came out in what was it, 2013? And they're like, wow, I I I hope they made a sequel. Like but, but yeah. Because my core is sus. Why Cora though? I don't follow Capra Nicholson. I am confused. You have confuzzled me, Copper Nicholson. <laughs> On the plus side, we are getting a ton of souls, so that's that's good. I would also like to point out that our stamina bar is almost exactly as long as our health bar. <laughs> Which is a rare in Dark Souls since you can get a lot- that health bar can go pretty- can get pretty large if you invest in it. So me being me. Me- <laughs> vitality is so low. <laughs> Four is clearly impossible. I saw her venting up here in Better Temple. Watch, she's the reason we never found Zito's well. Oh, no. No. Bad. No. Very bad, Copper Nicholson. Although, since we're going to be down here anyway, we might as well do the thing. Matt's out our, our soul gain. Mr. Stella, bro. Nope. Okay. 120 light bulb. Why? Also, Alpha Armstrong is going to be the main antagonist in Cold Steel. <laughs> I mean, anything could happen. I know there didn't seem to be much implication of Alpha being an antagonist in the first game, but I mean, after what happened at the end of the first game, I mean, who knows? For all we know, Alpha could be like some some super her princess of darkness that's going to that cause havoc in in what whatever's happening in Erebonia. I mean, chat, you already know my opinion of Princess Alpha in Jurassic Cold Steel. She exists. No. 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 no to be fair, I choose to say that in Trails of Cold Steel 2, Princess Alpha and Death. Like, for all I know, Princess Alvin gets some redeeming, like, high character arc in, in Trails of Cold Steel 2. If that were the case, that'd be hilarious. But I'm just saying... Like, can you imagine after the stuff that she said in Trails of Cold Steel 1, if she actually got, like, a meaningful character arc? It'd certainly be interesting, because, I mean... The, the, the writers of Trails of Cold Steel have already shown themselves to be extremely capable. I'm just trying to imagine what that would look like. <laughs> No! Never! 
Catherine Angel said, do you understand the stuff that would have to occur for that to happen? Hello? Hey, Darius, thanks for dropping by. How you been? Welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this um, is uh, actually a mimic head, uh, Garrus, and it lets us get more souls. So we're actually getting a ton of souls uh, this way by combining this with the Silver Serpent Ring and such. The only drawback is, as you can see, uh, the head slowly eats us, so we have to be very careful to mind our HP. <laughs> but on the flip side, we get tons of uh, loot for it. No, I refuse to let Toa become a background character. Let, let me put it to you this way. If, if Trails of Cold Steel 2 introduces new potential love interests for Reen, they have an absurdly high bar to clear if they, they want to convince me he to switch Hitch Reen's canon love interest from Toa. Because Toa is... I feel like... Like, like Toa is at such a high... Like, what, what was that card? Hey, that was simple after that. Yeah, I agree. It would be cool if it did stack with that. It doesn't, unfortunately. If it did, that would make Iron Discovery a lot easier, for sure. Drink, 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 drink. Black. Black. Also, these guys know how to cash. <laughs> KJ Sparks, okay. How many chunks did we get so far? I honestly don't think we've gotten any on this, this trip down. Uh, but we did manage to get um, a bunch of souls, as you can see. Well, the thing is, it's just we don't know what- I don't know what Cold Steel 2 is going to be- Well, I mean, I don't want to be getting into too many spoilers, so... Uh, I have a general idea of where at least it will start, just because of the way Cold Steel 1 ended, but... <laughs> Toa to join the Patriots? No! Toa would never do that! <laughs> but my point is, it's just b b between... You, so you're just all about the names of the cover. Copper and Colson, fair enough. But I'm just saying, just the... The character qualities of Tella Herschel are so absurdly good that I, I just don't see it being particularly real, realistic that some other character could top that. Like, I mean, it'd be interesting if I was proven wrong because then it would make a, for a much harder choice in the, the trails of, in Trails of Cold Steel 2. But, I mean, at least based on what I've seen at Metro's Cold Steel 1, like, you'd have to... You'd have to try it's extremely hard. Yeah, and that's also true. Rector Tawa is adorable. She is the definition of small. But I think, more importantly, her character qualities may, make her by far the most attractive character in the game, regardless of gender. <laughs> like, this is... <laughs> Tawa Hershey instead of Hershey. <laughs> I feel like that would be Reen's nit. That might be a, a nickname Reen gives to Toa. What is it, Matt? Hey, President Hershey. Very funny, Reen. What about Toa? Toa Hershey. I feel like you did for like a Hershey's chocolate bar or something like that. That'd be great. No. Yeah, uh, to answer your question, we have three chunks. <laughs> Listen, if... If and when... Ed, Toa, and Reen kiss, that should be the, the canon name for, name for that. It should be called the Hershey Kiss. There we go. <laughs> that should be a meme. <laughs> Schwartz. <laughs> yeah, is that? I try to think. Is that like a good ship name? It, it's pretty good. I'll, I'll give you that, Schwartz. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't equip the head. 
Can you stop being so aggressive? Okay. Woo! Who would be Tweedledee and Tweedledum? Um, wouldn't that be like Millie and then Alpin? Or like Sarah and Sharon, just... <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of which, I mean, I have to imagine Sharon returns in Trails of Cold Steel too, but I guess in what context? That... That'll be interesting. <laughs> okay, yeah, there you go, there you go. There's his Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> we found it. Pretty much. It fits so perfectly. <laughs> I swear though, if Milliam ends up being the first person of Flash 7 in to find Rain, <laughs> like, I swear. Okay. Oh, there he is! And Rain's like, no, I I'm not here. I found him, everybody! And Rain's like, no, please, no! <laughs> Anything, anything but that. <laughs> y you know, and that's the, and that's the other thing. It's like I, were, it's like I could honestly see that happening because of all that stuff. <laughs> you pretty much just seems like the world's worst secret agent. But still, <laughs> I imagine, I imagine if 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 Billy had found Reed, it would probably be something like, "Hey, everybody, I found him!" And this is like when Reed's surrounded by enemy forces, and everyone just looks at Reed as, and Reed's like, "Thanks, William. Um, I really need." And that was really helpful. And William would be like, "No problem." <laughs> just Reed giving William the the "I'm so done" face. That's he's. No, not Randleson. Hey, that's the thing. I think Milliam's a, him's a. I think Milliam as a character is written in an in, in, a, in a fun and interesting way, and she definitely has a role to fill. So I, I know I, I talk a lot of flack about Milliam, but that mostly involves just Milliam being a, an all-around rascal. Well, I still think she's a, a better written character than, again characters I've seen in some other games. Drink, 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 drink. Okay. Um, and I can definitely see what you mean. There, there can be something endearing in about Milliam's silliness and all of her memes, but I also think that Milliam is, at her core, she's a rascal. Like, a very, very big rascal. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is true, Gekko. I will give you that. Of all the cute, spunky, chaotic, hit girl characters I've seen, and <laughs> you'd be surprised how many characters fit that description. Milliam is probably toward, is probably the best written, or one of the best written. Actually, I take that back. The best written, cute, ca uh, spunky, chaotic girl is Mako Makancho from Kill a Kill. And you can fight me on that, but I just, no. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone that fits that description that... And who's more likable than Mako Makancho. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I guess Mako's not that Ian Pluta, but still. <laughs> yeah. Fair, fair enough, Ian Pluta. And yeah, the, the mysteries around her definitely make her a lot more interesting as well. I also hope we do not get yeeted. Oh, uh, that was also almost a yeet, but we survived. I'm curious about something. Okay, that is not happening. That is not happening. Not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening. Billy, that's my no! <laughs> I mean, it made sense they're dragons, so of course they'd have high have poise. This is true. 
Yeah, I guess Mafia would certainly fall under the category of as the bubbly character, and that's fine. Really? That's interesting, Rockcore. I would not have guessed that. Anyway, let's level up, give ourselves more endurance. So, out of curiosity, Rockcore, what enemy has the highest poison in this game? Is it, let me ask, is it the Ceaseless Discharge? Because it is the biggest enemy in the game. One of the highest voices, Poison Ivy. Ha! Dead one top for Nicholson. Uh, good question, Aunt Pluta. So, Poison uh, Aunt Pluta essentially is resistance to being staggered by attacks. So, if you have no Poise, then b basically almost any attack will make you flinch a bit and unable to do anything. Whereas, if you have high Poise, then you could get face tanked by like a heavy attack and still be able to just continue doing what you were doing without being interrupted. So. High poise is generally uh, favorable because it, it means you can keep doing the action you want to do regardless of what the enemy tries to do. But, uh, consequently, having high poise usually means you're also sacrificing mobility because you need to have your armor for that. Most large bosses, according to the video I watched yesterday, don't really have poise mechanics like other enemies do. I guess that makes sense, just because they'd be so massive that, like, there's no realistic way you could cause them to stagger. They can, like, the Gaping Dragon, for example. Yep, or, or Havel. Havel has massive poise because of his, his armor set. Hey, to be fair, if you were wearing armor that's completely made out of rots, you'd probably be pretty hard to knock over as, if you're... Stable on it. Hey. Come on! Stop giving me two cans, Dave! Come on! <laughs> Chat, it should be a meme that I get that I get too many dark hands. <laughs> Highest non NPC are the Stone Guardians and Titan Titans. Okay, Stone Guardians. Uh, Titan Demons make sense. Stone Guardians would not. I mean, it does make sense that all their heavy armor. Even higher than Smode. Okay, now that is interesting. This mode is really, really resistant to stuff. Did you get a nice sleep pop for Nicholson? Because if not, you should definitely get some rest, dude. Sleeps in forward. Titanite Demon has 200 poise? That's insane. Is that higher than a player can get with poise? I think the limit's like close to 120-ish for, for a player. I mean, with full Havels and, and the Wolf Rain, I'm trying to run, wonder what that would be. I hope you're thirsty that it's important to stay hydrated. Make sure you're getting enough sleep too, dude. Oh, we got here. Well, Copper Nicholson, and not not all nights have not all uh, nights that you go to sleep have very clear dreams, but that, that that doesn't mean you still can't be well rested. I know some nights that I've been well rested, I haven't dreamt at all. And other nights that I've been well rested, I had, you know, pretty vivid dreams. Alright, now we seem to be getting some good chunks. Uh, so quick question, Drekor. How many Titanite chunks do we need to, uh, before we can plus 14, uh, a, a weapon? Is it... Is it like 7 or something like that?
Whoa. That was scary. Drink. It's seven. Okay. In that case, how many do we have? We just need one more, chat. We just need one more. Are they no Confidentalson? You have to understand. Isabel is a secretary, and Tawa could potentially be a military officer. <laughs> so I think, oh, hey, there it is. We got it, chat. We got it. The time has come. I mean, I think Tawa could do almost, almost any kind of organizational thing very well. But, but honestly, if Tawa was an animal crossing, she wouldn't... She wouldn't be the secretary, she'd be the stinking mayor. <laughs> like, but she would she would run a ton of milk out of business with her with her good management skills. And and leadership skills. Yeah, there's a big big if there, Red Girl, and that's that Toa could be a military officer. Actually, no, Toa would be a military officer of some kind. I mean, she went to Thor's military academy. He's Madam President, after all. But those are memes, Ian Pluto. We're talking canonical lore here. In the Animal Crossing lore, I don't think Isabel has any military experience. Yes, this is very true, Rekor. I mean, you remember that one scene where... Where Toa was saying to Reen something like... Like, you better not, not step on a... And on Bates' this Toa's turf now, you hear? Or something like that, and she was just... She looked adorable and at the same time heart terrifying because she was being like, I'm serious, Reen, you better not step on my turf. <laughs> unless, unless I ask... Unless you ask me nicely. <laughs> so... All right. Andre, where are you? <laughs> okay, fair enough, being flat. Yeah, that's the record. No confirmation from Nintendo. It's just a meme. It's a meme thing. I, I think it's a cool meme, but even still, still just a meme. <laughs> okay. Composite bow plus ten. Well, 13, 14. All right, chat, we are going to slab it. Might as well also buy a bunch of large arrows because those are extremely useful for, for bosses. I mean, am I really, though, Dracor? We've got. I think all we've got left are, are, are solid weapons. If you think about it, we got straight swords, ultra great swords, axes, catalysts, and bows, so... I mean, in some hands, a bow might not seem like a solid weapon, and, but... I enjoy using them. And speaking of which, t since you mentioned, Rekor, that magic is actually not particularly effective unless it's a certain kind, I'm actually thinking of bringing out 
Finally, bringing out a bow. Just to show you guys that I, I do know some stuff with, um, with this. And we just sell fast roll because, fun fact about bows, they're actually pretty light. <laughs> well, at least if it's not a great bow. So we just pull this out. Ten arrows to have equipped. Uh, wooden arrows? Yep. Ah. Uh, this just feels right, chat. It's been so long since I've used a bow. But anyway. <laughs> but. Well, I guess uh, my thought, Rathgore, is I, I probably want to use sorceries against Halamid, if I had to guess. Because I know what the names of the bosses are, I just don't know where they are or what they are. But I feel like, if anything, paint to use sorceries against Halamid would make the most sense because... I mean, like the 100% like the speed run against Halamid uses like a, uses like a catalyst against uh, Halamid. <laughs> I also... Alright, understood, Red 4. I'm not saying is Calamite immune to... No, wait, no, Calamite isn't immune to, to normal magics. Because I feel like people use Soul Spears against it instead. But... I also know that supposedly in the DLC there's one uh, dark magic uh, kind of spell that everyone considers to be the most busted thing in the game. And I feel like that spell could help a ton as well. Like, uh, do you know what spell I'm talking about, Dracor? I think it's called, like, Dark Deed or something like that. Yeah, because I've heard that spell is completely overpowered. <laughs> And that's why, and one of the reasons why I've held off on sorceries for so long is because I've heard that, uh, you know, sorceries can get pretty busted against PvE. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough, Dracor. You'll make me look for it. That's, that's fine. So is it this way to the DLC? We will get there, eventually. Eventually. Oh, what is this? Okay, fair enough, Rector. This should be fun then. Oh, but should probably Again fast roll, so. Oh, what do we take as our second range? Hmm. I think we'll go with Florenthy. I mean, that's a classic. Alright, here we go. To the DLC chat. Oh dear. We are being... <laughs> well, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Rude. Oh, where am I now? This is strange. I'm assuming we can warp that to Lordran if as we see fit. Well, the other thing I don't know is because this is a new area to me. <laughs> For all I know, there could be illusory walls everywhere. Oh no, are we already facing a boss? I swear. 
Oh, we are going to face the boss, but we want to use. Um, hmm. The real question, which has higher AR? Is it my axe or is it going to be the, the sword? Oh wow, the, the straight sword doesn't, um, the AR is lower than my axe. Intriguing. Very intriguing, okay. In that case, if this is going to be like a boss, I'll probably have to go with... I mean, Farby wants to save the Great Sword for Gwyn, but at the same time, Gwyn is much better with, um... Oh dear. I mean, we already have a, a decision to make, Drakor. And I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll, we'll equip the Straight Sword and see what happens. What we got? Oh, it is a boss. Okay. Um, hello there. Hello there, Mr. Sancho. What? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> also, I've, I've realized that the thing was on screen, but we died. I'm sorry. <laughs> All you need to know is we got, we got yeeted. Oh yes, I indeed met the Guardian. I did. I, I met the Guardian for all of us. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> what? That is fast. That is very fast. Yes, Tower Hickelson, that is indeed a Manticore. <laughs> Alright, third time's the charm, maybe? Okay, okay, alright. Trying to figure out what the play is here. I'm guessing it's going to be trying to stay to its side. I'd also just try uh, dodging away to see if that gives me an opening. But it, I just do not know this thing's attack pattern. Ow! Oh, it poisoned me too. Okay. Drink, 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 drink. Toma, 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 Toma. Okay. Drink, 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 drink. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump. Why? <laughs> okay, okay. I will say this, th this looks like a very fun fight. Like it's, it's definitely aggressive. I'll give it that. <laughs> it definitely seems doable though. Just need to get used to its attack patterns, I think. All right. That's a big one. Okay. Wait for it. Okay. That's an attack. Okay. Yep. That is an attack. <laughs> jump. Jump. Go. <laughs> well done, the Dark Souls, where we fight Manticores. <laughs> I 
was trying to get around side, that's my fault. Very more Twitch reflex aim play. Interesting. Okay, so definitely it. Yeah, that's the thing that this isn't a chimera because a chimera would have like a dragon and a lion head as well. But this is more of a mantator. Um. Hmm. Right, that we can just walk around. Ow! No! Alright, we made the attack. Move! Move! Tova! Tova! <laughs> Move! Ooh, that tail <laughs> is a big tail. <laughs> Dova. Okay. What is it doing? Move. <laughs> Dova. Okay. Interesting. Really likes this lightning, doesn't it? Well, what you know, idea? Oh, is he is he charged? <laughs> well, we hit the tail. That's good. <laughs> My fault. I didn't dodge out of the way. That tons of stuff like nervous atomic <laughs> hits noises. Yeah, probably. Okay, what that I'm thinking though we should do is we should definitely kindle up a bit. So let's um so we have more S this flash. Go with I'm sorry, humanity. Um No reason not to use three. So we'll restore our humanity. What, you just mean me saying no copper nickel so it's like mm. <laughs> sounds of, of mild of annoyance okay we got 15 that's this flask um I wonder, would the Marine of Steel protection help us much here? Or the shot. <laughs> Nervous at Thomas Hummed Violation. That, that would be pretty funny because I have a lot of those, don't I? Needs more despair. No. Despair. No. <laughs> Probably good thought to take a break before that's attempt, so don't turn around, guys, but I will be right back.
All right, everyone. It's time for time for another attempt. I will say this: I am impressed at how quickly he that that giant ball of energy moves. Deck. Okay, we hit the tail. We did hit the tail. Alright, that's two. No. Oh, true. I thought I was about to punish us for, for our greed there. Okay, what we got? Big one. Oh, here. Drink, 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 drink. Move! Toma! 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 Nope, oh, he missed. Dova. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Dova. Down here. Nope. Nope. Dip, 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 dip. Move. J I don't jump. Dip. I knew that was coming. Drink, 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 Go for it, Tova. Oh dear, oh, we are about to die. Poison, 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 drink, drink, drink. Go for it. Let's go! Yes! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> and we did as human Toma too, let's go! <laughs> Can I just say that was a really fun battle? I will say that. That was so fun. <laughs> Honestly felt like a Dark Souls 3 boss. <laughs> so welcome to this file indeed. <laughs> well also, um, I think it's about well actually far for debt. Don't want to die of poison, so where's our catalyst? Can Tom and step the catalyst out before he dies of poison? Tune in next week to find out. Uh, there we go. Alright. But of course it means we'd have to say divide the straight sword, so. Alrighty. I also like how like that DLC boss is sort of like a gatekeeper to the DLC. Just kind of like a chat to see, okay, are you actually good enough for this? Yep, we are, so we can enter now. <laughs> yeah, this so Cobra Nicholson, this is the Ulysseal DLC. And it is not something I've I've played before. So this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> Let's stay our our tried and true stuff out. Yep. What? <laughs> yeah, the straight swords were great. Ha <laughs> ha, that, that's funny. As opposed to great swords. <laughs> uh, Copper Nicholson, DLC means it's optional. This is, this content was clearly designed for, for end gamey stuff, not a, the, the, like that thing I just fought, you do not have to face to fight the final boss at all. I've never seen it before. Well, I've been outside of videos. No, it does not, Copper Nicholson. We have not beat the final boss. Uh. Oh, okay, I was about to say, like, am I being dull or, or no? No, there are two different doors. Cool. Um. Are there any items in this arena? I don't think there are. I will say, I do find it interesting 
that they made use of the lightning mechanics on the water. <laughs> well, Copper Nicholson, this is uh, Tova's Firekeeper outfit. And now she's uh, donned more angelic clothes because she's not further in the game. I just, I just, it does kind of, it's not exactly like Dorothy's outfit, but there are some similarities. Secretly a Dorothy Hartwell cosplay. <laughs> no. Um, uh, okay. Move Sail Sanctuary. Interesting. Oh, it's lit. No, Copper Nicholson, no. Yo! Congrats on finishing those that statistics work, uh, KK Sports. How'd it go? Oh, that, that's convenient for sure. And I level... Now you're just barely below. We'll, we'll, we'll get some, some XP. I'm sure. Are there any items around here? Loser wall? Nope. Um. Oh, there's an item. There's a trap. I don't know. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for something to attack. Let's see here. Um. Is hey, I see something. Hello, sir. Are you friendly? This one. Oh, sorry. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> my age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Yep, that's me. Thy aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. You're welcome. If Princess Dusk is here no longer, snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask could from evil human play the savior maybe thank you I am Elizabeth guardian of this sanctuary something of a godmother to Princess Dusk I shall assist thee to my utmost oh I am one with the sorceries of Ulysses oh sorceries of Ulysses you say Oh, this is where we get all the hidden stuff. Cool. Uh, hidden weapon, hidden body. Cool. Anything else? Oh. What? What is that magic assist? What? 180 magic adjust. Sorcery Catalyst of Lost Land of Ungol, so former by the chant of the White Bar Heart Boost Sorcery Adjustment, but the sorceries of this land. That. I, I want that. Excuse me. I'm sick. <laughs> May the flames guide thee. I'm going to assume that's the best catalyst in the game. It has to be, right? Let's, let's look at this. Yeah, no, it dwarfs the others by a long shot. Wow. <gasps> It, it, I mean, it has a lot of match adjust. Maybe it, I mean... Unless there's like another catalyst we find later. It's certainly, it's certainly an upgrade from what we've had before. Well. Since we are still human, it, it can't hurt to kindle this. So, let's hit some humanities. to equip our right and true shield right and crest
All right, let's see what this DLC has to offer then. Ooh. Interesting. You know, weirdly enough, this area kind of makes me think of Dark Souls 2, like the, the Forest of the Giants. Like, you remember the Forest of the Giants? Yeah, this scene, it feels like it, doesn't it? That is that. Oh, those look like enemies. Oh, is it just me or is like the bridge sinking? Oh, never mind. Royal Wood. That's with Scarecrows and Staff Hollows. Fair enough. Oh, well, hello there. I want to make sure I have... Interesting design. Oh, they're like tree people. Interesting. Well, I gotta say, this, this is actually a pretty cool, like, I just standard enemy design. I wonder how the other pitchforks are. Actually, no, if they came from this direction, then what's to the left? That's just a different path, seemingly. Okay. Well, I saw a shiny, so I want it. Um. Oh, hello there. Hello, sir. Have you come to send your garden? I like that now our, our axe is so strong we can two hit these guys. That's, that's convenient. Can he be bat stabbed? <gasps> they can! Bye bye! Is there a shiny over here or am I just imagining things? Oh yeah, I noticed the Warren can't see. That is such a nice touch. I wonder if they actually like tend to this place. It would make sense. Is that a jump I can probably not. Yeah, no, that's not a jump. It's just an appearance. Where's that guy going? I saw that guy run off in the distance. What did I miss? Well, before I do that, I, I usually like to leave no oh uh no stone unturned. If I can. Oh, that guy looks different. He liked some kind of knight. Yeah, it looks like it. Now, let's try to bait out some of these guys and uh, weather out this, this forest. If we can. So... More and more towards the cliff side. Oh, item drop. Purple moss clumps. Oh dear. Big guy. Oh dear. <laughs> we got pancakes, chat. <laughs> we have been pancakes. I do not approve. I do not approve of this pancaking. I do not approve of dying. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> now I know, Gregor, you said these guys are resistance to non-dark magic, but I am I'm I'm just curious. I want to see how bad it is. Okay. <laughs> it's truly as abysmal as you say it is, I will switch out to something else. I'm just saying I'm curious. Uh, 
Oh, it's the boss is our resistance and hatchet. I see. Hit that. I tried to attack first. Boo. Dumba. Dumba! No! <laughs> Only one more chance, Copper Nicholson. You haven't gotten that far, dude. Fair enough, Albert, uh, Brad Port. I'll be interested to see what that is. I do not, uh, Dark Corp. <laughs> Move. Java. Okay. Let, let's try this out. Okay, that was... Pretty solid damage. I mean, that, that, considering these guys seem to have pretty hard resistance. Boop. Dark Souls Pathfinding at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see. Also, oh, homing magic at its finest. <laughs> I've actually heard that the remastered version has worse homing magic than the the base Dark Souls game did. Okay, these guys are worth a lot. Oh well. What else we have here in these woods? Copper Nicholson, if you're if you're feeling that, that way about it, dude, that's your fault, dude. I find Dark Souls a lot more fun when you when you're sober, awake, and very, very aware, because then you can really appreciate it and react to things more effectively. around here hello well that's pretty very pretty um hmm hey there's some runes over here still trying to make sure I'm not missing any items Uh, Copper Nicholson, you're asking a what if question that doesn't apply. This is a case where efficiency and enjoyments tend to be tied together. I generally think the, I think the more aware you are when playing Dark Souls, the more fun you can have. Since you can reach a higher level of play. Okay. 
Let's boop this guy. Boop. I also realize I don't have the, the sorcery brain equipped. Probably be wise. Up, oh, retreating. That's good. That gives me time to equip. Boop. Nice. Boop. Oh, he stattered him. Nice. Right, Tova. Death flow. Got him. Stone axes. What about stone axes? You mean this axe record, or do you mean their um their weapon? attack Hello. are they guarding anything or are they just kind of there I'm impressed at how how poorly I misjudged that distance you have quite a bit of reach don't they What? Okay, well, at least you put on the right side doesn't really have much of anything going on, so that's something. Army's almost tempted to use the the, the great sword just so we can one shot these guys. I'd rather not lose those souls if we can help it. Okay, this will absolutely one-shot them, but it's also slow. It's no. Probably the thing we'll be able to do to go for that running strike if we if we can get it off. Anything chasing us yet? Yeah, it's good. Hey, okay, let's grab our souls. Oop. That was definitely close. Got it. Can we bait and attack? Okay, we cannot block that. That's just no. Drink. Move to up. Oh, that. Uh. 
All right, we got him. Don't know if they were guarding anything is the thing. Because I mean, I can see some items over there, over there, all around. Now I think about it. We always go with with this strat again. Go uh, undercover Tova, just so that we can. I think that's on your end, Copper Nicholson. Uh, you haven't missed much. We're just it's more in the Royal Woods. Uh, no, we're just using the the strat to avoid. I, I'm hoping this uh, reduces the aggro range on the enemies. So far, it seems like it. They haven't. Does that guy see us? Uh, no, seemingly not. Remember, against the shell bros, this works quite well. So maybe it'll work here. Any items? Not that I can see, unless that's an item. Nope. Okay, I think we, yeah, we, we circled around. Cool. All right, I think we can use this guy as like a test case. Uh, oh, oh, wow, no. <laughs> I think that guy's a good test case. He, he, we got pretty close to this guy and he didn't notice us. Interesting. All right. In that case, what about Kermit uh, the Frog, Copper Nicholson? I see Copper Nicholson. I see. There's a shiny. I want it. I want the shiny. But can we have the shiny? Let's go. Stealth for the win. Will he even notice us? Seemingly not. Guardian Legends. Oh, those guys' Legends. Cool. I'm surprised. Is there like a cave we can go to get up there? I don't see like a ladder or anything. Seriously, how do we get up there? Is there like a secret path somewhere or just a cave that's finds this this is back there? Right now I don't see any obvious way to get up there. Oh well. We'll find out as we continue exploring. Oh dear. Oh, hello? 
Are you... Is that Calamine? That, I think that's Calamine. <laughs> well, that scared me. <laughs> I can't believe Calamine is like Calamine do is like, I sense a disturbance. Oh, well. <laughs> So how do we get up there? <laughs> you guys hear that too, right? <laughs> Not just me? Okay. Shinies. Anyway. I want the shinies. <gasps> I see a shiny. No! Oh! Huh? Where am I? I do not like the look of this place. Um, that enemy. I'm not gonna guess that's an. No, is that just a rocker? No, it's a rocker. Okay. I'm so paranoid right now. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that, that, there's more of the, um, those guys. Oh, that I do not like. Um, <laughs> do I have to make that jump? I hope I don't. Oh, it's like shears. I w this might be another example of like Dark Souls taking things that seem completely normal and trying to make them darker. Like, we're literally fighting like manifestations of twades at using garden implements to <laughs> against us, as an example. They do tend to gardens, but I just find it interesting because it's like you don't normally think of that as like a foe in an RPG, but whatever. It's definitely unique, I'll do that. Can I make that jump? Uh, no, 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 no. I assume there'd be like a bridge or something. Oh, it's speaking of bridges, I think there's a... A sense of disturbance. Here we go. <laughs> Very true, we are removing weeds. If <laughs> it's like the weeds are the enemies, okay. Like the weeds of the garden, okay. Ah, fair enough, Dr. Nicholson, fair enough. Mm hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm. I get down there. We'll find out. Is this an enemy? No. Just something. Oh, well, those are enemies for sure. For sure. In here though. Huh? Elevator! Interesting elevator. Um that does not bode well. <laughs> oh dear, that does look like an arena. Well, we'll come back to that. <laughs> What else is here? Um, okay. Well, we can't go that way. 
Anything else around here? Ooh. I'm going to assume we'll end up over there at some point. Loser of all? Nope. Maybe you? Nope. You? Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, well, there's an item. And a path. I like this path, honestly. It's somewhat peaceful, surprisingly. Watch there be like some giant mini boss down here or something. I swear. So many logs, too. Well, think about this area makes me feel really uneasy. I, I knew something was not right here. Okay. Are those like rat dogs? Not the puppies. Not the puppies. I don't want the puppies. Anything about the Dodgers. Please. Please. Oh, we don't one-shot them. This is potential reference to the Royal Rat Vanguard. Apart from Dark Souls 2, maybe. Because that was a... That was a boss in Dark Souls 2, the Royal Rat Vanguard. Just giant rat. Anything else? Was there a wall? Nope. Oh, we got the large silver brave warrior. That's nice. Oh, I see a dado. Or I guess, um, a rat. Hmm. I see one dado. Any others? Can we actually sneak past this one? Nope. Sense of smell is too good, chat. Not good, not good. Drink, 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 drink. Attack. Out here. Do not give up, do they? No. Okay. Oh, my favorite window destruction from Metal Gear Rising. Uh, it depends on what you define as a, a window destruction. Um, probably. I think the monsoon boss fight, just from its design, is actually really, really good. So probably that from a boss fight perspective. But lore-wise, probably more like Jetstream Sam or... Or Senator Armstrong. Well, then probably monsoon, just from the sake of the boss battle. But all the characters have their own uh, unique uh, twist to them. What? What? Huh? I don't like this. Is this... Hmm. 
There's a part of me that feels like there would be a fog date here. I am very suspicious. And confused. He's like way too massive of an open area. It's time for a rare range of sacrifice, since we still do have those. Fried Tova? Why Fried Tova? Over here. Oh no, Galavi! No! I refuse. Uh, okay, Calumny didn't attack us. What is this place? Weird. Okay, but there's a ladder. Okay, that, okay. <laughs> Things that, things that are sus. That place down there, especially since we've seen Calamine fly over here a bunch of times. Is that where we fight Calamine? I mean, it looks like a pretty big area. Hmm. I'm just going to assume that's a, a nope. Nope for now. Fade nope. Listen, if we didn't have 40,000 souls, I wouldn't be... I'd be a bit more, more interested in investigating. Over here. Oh. Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past. Uh. Yes, of course. We are both strangers in this strange land. Yeah, he does look like a Bloodborne character. I will give it that for a quirk. Two of us. Um. Oh wow, he actually sells some humanity. Interesting. He sells homeward bones. Cool. Wait, yeah, humanity, that's a dead thing. Or stalls, anything else? You sell arrows, that's nice. Sell feather arrows is also convenient. So long. Oh, we're here again. I was wondering what, if, if, what when we come back here. Item. There's the guardian gauntlets. Over there. Oh, I see. We have to go from the right side. I see. I want. I want the shiny. Any shinies over here? Or is this just a uh, space? That's uh, just a space. Okay. I like these new elevators, though. Very ominous. Indeed, I agree, Retro. This is a pretty, a very pretty area, especially about for by Dark Souls standards. I still don't think it's as pretty as some of the stuff in Dark Souls 2, but it's it's definitely more pretty than a lot of the stuff we see in the base game. So the item was over here. There it is. A. Hey. All right. I know there were still some items back here though. I know we can't make noise, but there's also these guys to contend with. The 
there's just a lot of them. Oh wow, you came in fast. I don't like that. No. <laughs> I just laugh at myself to that. That was a thousand percent my fault, but I also thought it hilarious that we were at the right spot for that. Uh, Dark Lord's right, Copper Nicholson. Yep, Copper Nicholson. Yep. Oh, fair enough, Ian Pluto. <laughs> and teach their own. Finally got one. Three twinkling titanite to boot. We'll gladly take. I do. I almost wonder if it'd be better just to run through that section on on the right. Probably a terrible idea, but we're gonna try it. YOLO! 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 How is this working? This feels... Not correct. Okay, that's a pri once chat Ryan uh Ryan straightforward towards something seemed to work surprisingly well.
Uh, okay, it's not a bottomless pit. That's good. No, Copper Nettleson, no. All right, what we got over here? So, there's an item, other things. Drop down here. Oh, wow. Pfft. That's a die. Elizabeth's Mushroom. What is that? I'm assuming that's a key item because I, I can't imagine that's a an item that you just use for anything other than some quest. That's right here, Jen. Okay. So it is a consumable. Okay. Good to know. Uh Game! Game! Why you do this? Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, that's where the Guardian Helmet is. Cool. That's one of the few instances where parkour actually matters in um, Dark Souls 1, seemingly. Enough, Copper Nicholson. That isn't funny. Aww, oh, chat, look! Was that guy using binoculars? Aww. It's adorable. Sorry. <laughs> He's keeping watch. I just for calumny, I just I imagine. I'm sure what you're doing. Oh, that guy's patrolling. Like, he real... Like, doing, like, a, a holding pattern everywhere. Interesting. He is patrolling the perimeter. Cool. Well, that that's definitely more engaging than the other guys who just kind of stand there and don't do anything. Definitely makes being a... Stealthy in this situation. Yeah, I was just great arrows. Well, good thing we don't need to do those, because that would definitely not work here. <laughs> Hey, Guardian Armor. Nice. Usually when enemies do event arsenal stuff, they notice you. That guy's one of the few exceptions. Good to know. Nice record. Um, I tried plunging attack. Plunging attack failed. Oh, well. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that we probably got most of the items in this area. That's good. And the only thing I can think of is we haven't been up there yet. Is there, is 
scraping anything up there, though, is the thing. Maybe? Maybe not? I can't tell if that's just reinforcements or if there's something actually up there. Yeah. I think, chat, we've actually got, um... I think we've got most of the items from here, so... We also have a bunch of souls, so I think that's a, that's a good haul. Yep, it is indeed level off time. But first, I'll see if will you say anything. Struggling, if there's anything I thou shalt see, for an abyss was begat of the ancient night without indeed step. Yep. Um. May the flame. Indeed, Dark War, indeed. Yeah, more intelligence shouldn't hurt. It would certainly help with our magic damage. Alright. Well, it is approaching 8.30, chat, so I think this would be uh, actually a good spot to wrap things up. Uh, we can go explore uh, what's behind that fog date uh, next time we're in Dark Souls. Though, of course, Thursday's a uh, Heartwell dev stream. So anyway, if you're watching here on Twitch, feel free to stick around for a raid. But if you're watching on YouTube and you like what you saw, please consider subscribing on YouTube. If you're to subscribe on YouTube, you can always change your mind later, and it's a great way to show support. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you have an awesome night.